My name is Crystal. I own a travel consultant company planning destination weddings, honeymoons, and other travels based out of the United States. Although that's where I'm from, I relocated to the Caribbean island of Aruba where I live with my husband and dog for over three years now. This life I built at one time was just a dream, but welcome to my reality. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna take you to Sandals Emerald Bay, located in the Exuma Bahamas. Before we get started, I wanna remind you guys, we are gold certified agency with Sandals Resort, which means we go to them often, check them out firsthand for you, and book a lot of sandals. So allow us to book your next sandals trip by going to the link in the bio, www.wanderlustjetsetter.com, and filling out our contact page to book your next sandals trip. The room type we were in is a beach house, ocean view, grand luxe club level room. These room types do have that dark bohemian Caribbean style wood look, which isn't everyone's favorite. I personally don't mind it, but do prefer a little bit more of a modern look. However, it was still a nice room with a little view and a balcony and we really enjoyed it. Now, whatever Sandals Resort you go to, please check out Bombay. It's one of my favorite restaurants in the Sandals chain. It is Indian. Now, if you've never eaten Indian before, an all-inclusive is the best place to do it because if you don't like it, you can always go and eat somewhere else after. We're gonna run through a resort and golf course tour now. If this doesn't interest you, feel free to skip ahead and we'll show you guys the infamous swimming pigs. Here's a little cat house. That was kind of funny. We've never seen that before. They have these little cat houses throughout the property and they take very good care of the resort's cats. This white structure is a wedding ceremony option venue, and then we have the outdoor massage area, which is really nice too. This is the outside of a butler villa. It is awesome. You guys have to check this out. This multi-room suite features one king-size bed, a little living room area, a bar, a walk-in closet, a bathtub, and even your own outdoor space. It does come with butler service as well, so this is the creme de la creme of Sandals Emerald Bay room options. Here we have another wedding ceremony option, the outdoor spa area. By the way, they have the largest spa out of any Sandals chain, so this is the best place to come and relax. And now we're on to the Emerald Bay Golf Course. Now I am not a golfer myself, but this golf course was absolutely beautiful. So if you are a golfer, I think this is the perfect place for you. Green fees are including at this award-winning Emerald Bay Golf Course, and it is an 18-hole Oceanside renowned golf course for its challenging fairways. Another great restaurant, this is the Sushi Restaurant Soy. This is my husband's favorite out of all of the restaurants within the Sandals chain and another great one to check out. We were up bright and early the next day because this is the highlight of our trip, the famous Swimming Pigs. We booked this right through the resort. Now your travel agent can book this for you ahead of time. It was a group excursion that went out on a catamaran and it was actually one of our favorite excursions ever. It was so much fun. Obviously we were expecting to see swimming pigs, but for some reason we didn't expect to see so many, I guess. It was quite surreal pulling up. We were the first boat to pull up, so the pigs literally just woke up and swam over to the boat. It was so crazy. By the way, a professional photographer from the resort came with us on the excursion, which was absolutely ideal. We got some great photos. Of course, you do have to pay for those at the resort before you depart. You can get them in digital and printed varieties. There were also these very friendly stingrays that swim around the boat that we got to take photos with. The excursion also included a little tour of some private islands where they explained who owns those islands and Iguana Island, which was actually really cool. Also, we did not expect to like this, but they were super friendly, so they were so cute. 
By the way, if you were curious about mosquitoes, we never felt them and we saw them come through every day and fumigate like they are doing here to get rid of them. So we've been here at Sandals Emerald Bay for a few days now. The overall consensus is it's a little bit of a quieter vibe, which could be a good or a bad thing for you depending on what you like. Um, we tend to prefer the more lively resorts with more like pool activities and nightlife and things going on. There's a little bit of that here, but even if there is something scheduled, not as many people join in. In general, it's a bit of a smaller resort anyway out of the Sandals chain, um, but it's a really nice relaxing place to come. The Exumas in general are amazing. The excursion to the Pig Island was one of our favorites of all time, like excursion of all time. Um, and it's a really good place to come and just do like spa. Well, you can hear there's some rowdy people behind us. They're, they just arrived today. They definitely are a little more lively and fun, um, but it's more of like a relaxing spa, quiet type vibe. So we'll have hibachi, we'll take you guys there. We're in this little thing overlooking the main pool right now. I think every Sandals has one of these. You go up these stairs and it's like usually the best viewing point at any Sandals, so definitely. And since I forgot to take you guys on a tour of the beach, here's a quick video of it. It is a very long, quiet stretch of beach, and there is no water like the water in the Bahamas or Turks and Caicos. We'll leave you off here with this beautiful footage of the sunset and the pool. If you are looking for a quiet, relaxing Caribbean getaway, check out Sandals Emerald Bay and make sure you book with Wanderlust Jet Setter.